بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يمحق الله الربا ويربي الصدقات Imagine a society living a harmonious life where wealth is channeled to the needy to help improve their livelihoods. You can also play a role by donating to Sadaqa House Bank Islam. Sadaqa House is a donation platform managed by Bank Islam. An entity or individual may use the digital platform and other channels provided to give funding to non-governmental organizations that are strategic partners of Sadaqa House. It is an effort to create a positive impact on the economy and community. With the proceeds raised, Sadaqa House Bank Islam focuses on projects under several categories. Health, financing medical expenses, educational, financing educational projects, community, enhancing community economic activity, environment, preserving the environment. So, if you would like to be a part of this charitable cause, please channel your donation to the official Sadaka House Bank Islam account through various donation platforms. Fund Transfer Bank Islam Credit Card I through True Rewards Points Redemption or Scheduled Payments. Scan, Snap and Pay QR Code through your contribution Together, we can improve the livelihood of those in need, as well as creating a harmonious society. For more information, visit www.sadakahouse.com.my Need to make payment instantly? No problem. Just go and pay and share your payment slip instantly. Here's how it works. Launch and log in to go. Select transfer. Choose other account under do it now. Choose new transfer. Choose account number. Select bank. Enter amount, account number, and recipient reference. Read and accept the TNC, then select continue. Once verified, click transfer now. Approve the transaction. Click share to send the receipt. Go by Bank Islam. Life just gets easier. Paying back your lunch share gets easier with Go. All you need is your friend's mobile number to transfer your share instantly through Do It Now on Go. Click on transfer. Choose other account under Do It Now. Select new transfer. Select mobile number. Enter the amount, key in your friend's mobile number, or search from your phone book followed by the recipient reference. Read and accept the TNC, then select continue. Verify the details and click transfer now. Approve the transaction. Click share to send the receipt. Go by Bank Islam. Life just gets easier. No time to queue up for bill payments? No problem, just go! Pay your bills anytime, anywhere through JomPay on Go. Choose Pay. Select JomPay. Click New Payment. Enter biller code and fill in the payment details correctly. Read and accept the TNC, then click Pay Now. Once verified, click Confirm. Once payment is confirmed and approved, the payment slip appears. Click Share to save the payment slip. Go by Bank Islam. Life just gets easier. Need to check and save in your Tabung Haji account? No problem. Just go. Select Tabung Haji. Click Link Now. Choose Tabung Haji Linking. Verify your details and enter your Tabung Haji account number. Proceed to approve the linkage. Click Transfer. Select Tabung Haji. Select Bank Islam to own Tabung Haji. Select From Account and To Account. Fill in the transaction details correctly and click Continue. Confirm the details. Approve the transaction. Go by Bank Islam. Life just gets easier.
Yang berbahagia, Datuk Sri Syed Hussein Al Habshi, Chairman of SME Corporation Malaysia, yang berusaha Ice Rizal Naini, Chief Executive Officer of SME Corporation Malaysia, yang berusaha Ice Muhammad Muazzam Muhammad, Chief Executive Officer of Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad, yang berusaha Ince Mizan Masram, Chief Business Officer, Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad, Senior Management Members of SME Corporation Malaysia and Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad, Members of the Media Fraternity, our esteemed viewers, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and salam sejahtera. Welcome to the virtual signing ceremony of a Memorandum of Understanding of Strategic Collaboration between Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad and SME Corporation Malaysia this morning. To start this momentous occasion, I would like to call upon Saudara Muhammad Shahman Ismail to lead the recitation of the doa. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma inna nas'aluka min mujibati rahmatik wa azaima mawfiratik wa salamata min kulli ism wal ghanimata min kulli bir wal fawza bil jannah wa najata min al-nar. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-afwa wal afiyah wa nas'aluka al-huda wa tuqa wal afafa wal ghina. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim We uphold our hands pleading for your mercy So that you may shine our hearts with your light Open our minds with your wisdom Our hearts with piety And may it be easy for us to accept And appreciate the practice of Islam Ya Allah, Ya Sami, Ya Alim On this glorious day In conjunction with the MOU signing Between Ben Islam, Malaysia, Berhad and SME Corporation Malaysia. We humbly pray to you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will successfully be able to achieve the noble objective of this event. We seek from you the greatest success, the best reward, the best life and the ease at the end of our life. Ya Allah, Ya Azim, Ya Karim. We seek your guidance to give strength to Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad as the pioneer of Islamic banking in the country Protect the bank from any misfortune. Help us to embrace the trust in upholding mu'amalah and the Islamic economy, thus impacting the socio-economic development of the ummah as well as the progress of this blessed country. Allahumma jal jam'ana hadha jam'an marhuma wa tafarruqana min ba'dihi tafarruqan ma'asuma Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina azaban na Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thank you, Sadara Shahman. Ladies and gentlemen, today's MOU signing ceremony signifies banks, Islam and SME corporations' commitment to offering Islamic financial solutions to support small and medium enterprises, SMEs, growth and sustainability in all sectors. It aims to improve capacity building and provide financial guidance and relief to SMEs. Our MOU signing ceremony today is an event with a difference. We will be having a special webinar as a special treat to the SME fraternity immediately after the signing ceremony. To our esteemed viewers, please stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, without further delay, I would like to call upon the Chief Executive Officer of Bank Islam, Inche Muhammad Muazza Muhammad, to deliver his speech. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yang berbahagia, Datuk Seri Syed Hussein Al-Habshi, Chairman SME Corporation Malaysia. Yang berusaha, Encik Rizal Naini, Chief Executive Officer SME Corporation Malaysia. Management of Bank Islam and SME Corporation Malaysia members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honour to welcome everyone viewing this MOU signing ceremony. My sincere appreciation to our strategic partner, SME Corp, 
for its role and support of the national agenda in catalyzing Malaysia's SME sector to enable SMEs to remain resilient and broaden their business capabilities and capacities. This collaboration reflects the mutual efforts by Bank Islam and SME Corp to provide benefits and value to our stakeholders through the various strategic initiatives conducted over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, Bank Islam has been working together with SME Corp since 2013 by providing Islamic financial solutions while supporting various programs initiated by SME Corp. Alhamdulillah, our collaboration has continued to strengthen since then. In 2019, SME Corp and University Utara Malaysia supported Bank Islam to carry out the SME Development Program 2.0. The SME Development Program offers a platform to develop the necessary skills, provide entrepreneurs with valuable insights in building successful enterprises, and enable them to be more competitive, especially in the global market. It is also necessary for these enterprises to achieve a good credit scoring that will enable them to access funding for expansion of their businesses. Unfortunately, this program had to be temporarily postponed in 2020 due to COVID, which had adversely impacted almost everyone, especially the SME segment. Despite the effect of COVID on the economy, there are also silver linings and opportunities. Responding to the needs of ASNAF and B40 micro-entrepreneurs affected by the pandemic, Bank Islam launched ITCAT in May 2020, which is a micro-financing program. SME Corp is a strategic partner to Bank Islam for the ITCAT program to provide structured business and cash management training to the participants to further increase their understanding, skills and knowledge in managing their businesses effectively and sustainably. ITCAT offers financing at a very low rate to micro-entrepreneurs to start or expand their business to generate a sustainable income. It also provides zakat money to eligible recipients among the ASNAF to purchase equipment for their businesses. Alhamdulillah, we managed to assist close to our target number of 100 micro-enterprises in the Federal Territory and Selangor within the first year of implementation and plan to broaden the program to other states. Ladies and gentlemen, while we have established strong footings within the retail segments, we are also continuously expanding our SME segment. We are currently embarking on a five-year strategic plan known as LEAP25. Under LEAP25, we collaborate with more parties by introducing various measures and initiatives to support the SME segment. We offer various capacity building financing facilities such as SME Biz Grow, WinBiz, Business Premises Financing and Go Halal SME, which is a financing facility for SMEs to embark on halal certified business. We want to cater and support a broader segment of the SME that include women entrepreneurs, sole proprietorships, partnerships, and professional service providers. We also aim to advance from financing-centric to ecosystem play in supporting enterprises, including enabling digital transformation for our customers. Soon, we will launch our SME Expert mobile app. This digital initiative supports the entire SME ecosystem with business and financial resources to provide better opportunities to the SME players for their growth and sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, the MOU that we signed today marks another milestone for Bank Islam in pursuing a strategic collaboration that will involve financial assistance in terms of capital and capex, trade financing and other financial services such as Banka Takaful, cash management and e-banking solutions. This collaboration is aimed to benefit the SMEs through the enrollment for Sharia Compliant SME Financing Scheme or SSFS. The scheme allows eligible customers to enjoy a 2% profit rebate with the various financing packages provided under SME banking. 
SME customers can also benefit from an improved capacity building through the Bumiputra Enterprise Enhancement Program and are eligible to participate in the prestigious Enterprise 50 Award Program by SME Corp. The government of Malaysia has allocated 4 billion ringgit for SMEs who enrolled in the SSFS program under SME Corp. Since the commencement of the financing scheme in 2013, Bank Islam has supported 121 SME customers with financing amounts totaling more than 133 million ringgit so far. We aim to grow these numbers with the signing of the MOU today. In addition, under this MOU, Bank Islam will also assist eligible SMEs to participate in the Going Export Program or GoX that aims to nurture and develop the industry players to be more competitive in the international arena and enable SMEs to adopt SME Corp's rating model, SME Competitiveness Rating for Enhancement or SCORE. We hope that this strategic partnership will further drive the growth of the SME sector, ensuring their resiliency and continues to contribute to the rebuilding of the nation post-COVID. May this commitment place Bank Islam as one of Malaysia's Islamic financial institutions of choice for the SMEs, inshallah. Before I end my speech, I would like to express again my sincere appreciation to SME Corp for the long-standing relationship, which has strengthened even further with this MOU. Thank you to all for the support and trust to Bank Islam all these years. May Allah grant His blessings on our effort to increase our contribution to the SME sector to enable them to grow and weather any obstacles, particularly in this highly challenging time. Thank you. Wa billahi tawfiq wal hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Encik Muhammad Muazzam. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to call upon Yang Berbahagia Datuk Sri Syed Hussein Al Habshi, Chairman of SME Corporation Malaysia, to deliver his speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yang Berusha Cik Rizal Naini, Chief Executive Officer, SME Corporation Malaysia. Yang Berusha Cik Muhammad Muazzam Muhammad, Chief Executive Officer. Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad Yang Berusaha Cik Mizan Masram Chief Business Officer Bank Islam Yang Berusaha Cik Rizal Muhammad Yusuf Head SME Banking Bank Islam Members of Corporation SME Corporation Malaysia Management of SME Corporation Malaysia and Bank Islam Members of the Media Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And a very good morning to everyone present on the virtual platform today to witness the virtual MOU signing ceremony of collaboration between SME Corporation Malaysia and Bank Islam. On behalf of SME Corp, Malaysia, allow me to record my highest appreciation to all parties, especially with Bank Islam, who have been working closely with SME Corp Malaysia. In concluding this MOU, as well as the organizing of this virtual event. This is a continuation of the ongoing strategic collaboration between SME Corp Malaysia and Bank Islam as an effort to improve the competitiveness of small and medium enterprises SMEs. SMEs in Malaysia make up the majority or 97.2% of business establishment in the country. SMEs are the driver of our economic growth contributing significantly to 38.2% of GDP 
and 13.5% of export in 2020. Employing 7.3 million or 48% of all workers in the nation, SMEs also have a vital role in both the local and global supply chains. The government highly recognizes the importance of SMEs and entrepreneurs development in generating globally competitive SMEs and dynamic entrepreneurs in our strong nation. Hence, we continue to implement effective strategies and forge strategic collaborations with key stakeholders, such as the financing institutes like Bank Islam, in order to enhance the growth of local SMEs and entrepreneurs. Ladies and gentlemen, the strategic cooperation through MOU signing is part of the proactive efforts to provide viable business opportunities to the SMEs in Malaysia, especially during this challenging time when many are affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is done through leveraging the business-to-business -business platform offered by Bank Islam, as well as the financing support included in the collaboration stated in the MOU. We hope that such initiative could assist SMEs to sustain company operations in the current pandemic situation. SME Corp Malaysia serves as a central coordinating agency, CCA, under the Ministry of Entrepreneur Development and Cooperatives, MIDEC, is responsible for the coordination of SME development programs involving 17 ministries and over 60 agencies in the country, providing SME information and advisory services, SME economic assessment, SME accreditation, business development support program, as well as both domestic and international market access facilitation. I'm pleased to share that the responsibilities of both parties under the MOU will contribute towards the capacity building of SMEs by providing access for them to participate in various events, training programs, awards, and other resources, as well as product and services on Bank Islam online platform, namely SME Expert. Through the MOU collaboration, business experts from various sectors listed under this SME Expert Advisory Program by SME Corp Malaysia will join SME Expert, the online platform, as community advisor on the platform. Ladies and gentlemen, for SMEs to become and remain competitive, Having strong financial position is a crucial foundation to leap forward as it will help to considerably ease current challenges faced by SMEs. Under the MOU, Bank Islam will provide financing assistance to SME Corporation Malaysia grant recipients. Enterprise 50 companies, SMEs Go Global, Bumi Putra Enterprise Enhancement Program BIP, recipient companies, as well as companies identified to go for listing under Stay Away to Listing, just to name a few. I urge SMEs, including those affected by COVID-19 pandemic and MCO, to explore this opportunity to obtain financial assistance through this collaboration between SME Corporation Malaysia and Bank Islam, which at the same time can help contribute to the growth of local industries and the overall country's economy. Before I end my speech, 
Once again, I would like to thank all parties involved for making today's virtual MOU signing ceremony a success. We look forward to having strategic collaborations that can greatly help our SMEs to prosper even during these challenging times. Thank you. Thank you, Datuk Sri Syed Hussein Al Habshi. Ladies and gentlemen, this MOU signing ceremony will witness the intentions of both Bank Islam and SME Corporation to play an important role in the development, growth and sustainability of SMEs in Malaysia. Signing on behalf of SME Corporation is its CEO Encik Rizal Naini, Bank Islam's Chief Business Officer Encik Mizan Masram is signing on Bank Islam's behalf. Witnessing on behalf of SME Corporation are Yang Berbahagia Datuk Sri Syed Hussein Al Habshi, Chairman of SME Corporation Malaysia, and Puan Sharifah Najwa Syed Abu Bakar, Chief Operating Officer of SME Corporation Malaysia, and Inche Muhammad Muazzam Muhammad, the CEO, and Inche Rizal Muhammad Yusuf, the Head of SME Banking for Bank Islam. The signing ceremony shall now commence. Thank you to the signatories and witnesses from both Bank Islam and SME Corporation. Please don't go away. Our webinar is up next. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, as a treat to the Facebook followers of Bank Islam and SME Corporation, we present to you a special webinar this morning. We have with us two esteemed speakers who will provide their views on the futures of SMEs. First up is Head of SME Banking of Bank Islam, Inche Rizal Muhammad Yusuf. Inche Rizal will discuss the topic of future ready SMEs through halal and digitalization. Over to you, Inche Rizal. A very good day to everyone. Alhamdulillah, we have just witnessed the MOU signing ceremony on the collaboration between Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad and SME Corp Malaysia. To what we aim, we'll cater and support a broader segment of the SMEs to further drive the growth of the SME sector. I take this opportune moment to thank all virtual attendees present here today for making the effort to join us in marking this significant milestone for Bank Islam. Throughout this session, feel free to post your inquiries in the comments and our relationship managers will attend to your questions.
or you can scan the QR code on the screen and channel your inquiries to our email. To further understand how Bank Islam, through the SME Banking Division, play its role in supporting the SMEs, let me proceed with a presentation on future-ready SMEs through halal and digitalization. Now let's look at what future-ready SMEs is all about through halal and digitalization. Among the topics of discussion for today is the importance of having collaborations, halal and SMEs, the critical role of technology, SMEs beyond pandemic, and understanding financial planning, especially for SMEs. Now, we might be asking ourselves, why is collaboration increasingly important? How SMEs can work with partners effectively? Now, collaboration is by working together to make unified decisions on a greater purpose. Let's examine the contributing factors that lead to maximize project success. Collaboration, as we might know, promotes problem solving. It spurs innovation throughout the SMEs. It connects the organization to the bigger picture through networking, business matching, and all sorts of fun things. It boosts the learning and skills and also knowledge sharing of best practices among the SMEs. Lastly, it maximizes productivity and increases efficiency. This is an example of a successful collaboration, which is a collaboration between Bank Islam and SME Corp. It all starts from the SME themselves, whereby I will take you through the journey of the collaboration between the private sector, the businesses, the SMEs, the Islamic Financial Institution, and SME Corp. Our first journey will be the SME itself, that can be from food and beverages, pharmaceuticals, industrial chemicals, cosmetics, and whatnot. When we are being onboarded into SME Expert, which is the digital platform established by SME Banking, Bank Islam, we would be able to offer a plethora of information, solutions, and also provide financial assistance to the SMEs through the digital enablement of SME Expert. From onboarding the SME through SME Expert, we would be able to connect you to SME Corp, where you would be able to enroll into programs such as the SSFS, SCORES, and etc. From these programs, SMEs will be recognized through BIP, 50 Enterprise, and GoX, whereby they will be enrolled into capacity building, prestigious award, and uh, recognition by the industries. Now, let's look at the benefits to SMEs and entrepreneurs. This collaboration would benefit all of the SMEs in a way of enjoyment of 2% rebate of profit portion via SSFS, additional channel to attract new customers from SME expert and riding on Bank Islam's database network to generate leads or sales. This is done through networking, business matching, as what I have mentioned before. There are special packages and privileges to eligible SME Corp members for financial assistance under working capital and capex. Participation in Going Export Program, GoX, that aims to nurture and develop SMEs to be more competitive in the international arena. SMEs will also be able to refine knowledge and improve capacity building through Bumiputra Enterprise Enhancement Program, which is BIP. From there, SMEs would also be able to participate in prestigious Enterprise 50 Award Program. Now let's look at Halal and SMEs on the Malaysian as well as the global landscape. The importance of small medium enterprises for the economy is widely acknowledged and the Malaysian government will have to play a crucial role in generating and enabling conducive scenario for SMEs. Government agencies will have to continue its pursuit of developing policies, initiatives and programs that would intensify support for the local SMEs. 
SMEs operating in halal environment have a different set of environmental variables that can promote success if the country is serious on building successful halal SMEs to compete in the global market. The chart here shows you the huge potential of the global market for halal products, which is registered at US 2.3 trillion. It can be broken down into various industries, like the process F&B at 35%, pharmaceuticals at 23%, and bakery products at 12%, followed by the rest, such as nutraceuticals, confectionery, cosmetic and personal care, and primary meat. There are advantages for SMEs and entrepreneurs in having halal certification, such as getting them to have opportunities for export market. Now, Malaysia should emphasize on efforts to produce more SMEs involved in the halal industry, as well as facilitate them in obtaining halal certification and penetrating the export market. And also to provide help to SMEs that offer halal products and services to find an easier way to get the halal certification. If we look at the number of SMEs in Malaysia, out of the 987,000 SMEs, only 7,000 of SMEs are halal certified. Again, out of that 7,000, only 1,900 companies or SMEs are export driven, are exporting their product in the market, which amounts to about only RM40 billion. Now imagine the opportunities, the vast opportunities that we have, where we are only at 40 billion, whereas the market out there is at US 2.3 trillion. Halal at the technological front is an important agenda towards digitalization. Halal business is more than just a dietary loss. Technology has allowed halal to stay in step with the modern world. A total global Muslim spend is expected to grow to US 5 trillion by 2025. Advances in technology and the Internet of Things has enabled SMEs to complete the supply chain and get the products across to the end user. Let's look at the critical role of technology and ask ourselves, are you future ready? What is future ready business? A business which is confident, well prepared for emerging challenges, and we have identified six common characteristics of a future ready business and they have positive attitude towards change, open to new technology, clear steps toward business transformation and detailed strategy, and also up to date with trends and adaptable throughout. Let's look at the first point, which is adapting to the times. It is simply the power and influence of consumers to grow and the ability to sway the behavior of organizations that have grown significantly. Sustainability is also the key, as it has been creeping up the business agenda for some years now, and the public becomes more vocal about it, and regulations increases. A data-centric outlook is also important, as it is creating further set of challenges too. Not only it is becoming an increasingly important strategic asset, it is also vital to store and process it securely. This is where the big data analytics comes in. Nurturing talent is also equally important by creating digital workspace that appeal to younger workers that makes it easier for all kinds of employees to work more flexibly with a focus on their well-being at all times. This is very much applicable to the Gen Ys. Lastly, becoming future ready. Now, COVID-19 has given us time to reflect and realize that work can be done differently and from anywhere. And from that to be possible, businesses now need to be digital and responsive, but not at the cost of their humanity. 
we believe we're going into a new era where companies rapidly and purposely adopt technology to enhance people's personal and business lives rather than letting technology control us. Another point to note is having the digital presence. Now, digital presence is one of the most important investment that a business can make. Value-driven digital marketing services drive your brand awareness, and if it carries the best marketing strategy, then it makes more sales. A strong digital presence can potentially skyrocket your business further. Here are some of the reasons why your business needs to establish its online presence. Firstly, it would be able to reach more people. With digital presence, you are not limited by the number of people who just sees your business in the local newspaper, just like the traditional marketing. As we all know, digital presence have a wider coverage. It would able to establish your brand. Now, brand building digitally builds a potential customer's trust for business, and for that, your business needs to catch up with the eyes of the customers. Thirdly, it makes it easier to build relationship with customers. It allows the business to communicate with the target audience and create a meaningful relationship. SME expert mobile app have a lot to offer to the SMEs. Primarily, it provides an easy, accessible business insights and resource guides. It also acts as an enabler to expand digital presence through branding and effective marketing strategy. SME experts provides opportunities to market products locally and abroad through business matching and market insights. It is also a form of hassle-free application to a wide range of financial solutions. With SME Expert, you would also be able to expand business network and penetrate untapped market opportunities through business matching. From SME Expert, we would be able to prioritize the merchant participation in Bank Slum, trade shows, and exhibitions. SMEs would also be able to enjoy attractive deals with the partner merchants solely from being in within the platform. SMEs beyond pandemic, vaccinating your business is equally important as to vaccinating yourself. There are few packages that are provided by Bank Negara and the financial institution towards have giving the relief assistance to SMEs. Recognizing the environment that remains challenging for some financing customers, BNM and the Malaysian financial institution are committed to assist viable business adversely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic to support economic recovery and safeguard the livelihood of Malaysian businesses. There are a few packages that is being lined up. The first one would be the TRRF, which is the Targeted Relief and Recovery Facility. It is a six billion fund allocated by Bank Negara to, for the affected SME in the services sector. Offered at a rate of up to 3.5%, TRRF will be available through Bank Islam with the guarantee coming in from SJPP. The SME Automation and Digitalization Facility, ADF, is also aimed at incentivizing SMEs to automate processes and digitalize operations to improve productivity and efficiency. The financing rate is also attractive, which is at 4%, and the guarantee coverage from SJPP as well. Penjana Tourism is another fund to help the industries within the effect, mostly affected, which is the tourism sectors. And the last one will be targeted or Pamuli Repayment Assistant, PRA. This is where the six months moratorium is concerned. Let's understand financial planning and how to improve your financial literacy skills, particularly for the SMEs. Developing financial literacy to improve your personal finances involves learning and practicing a variety of skills related to budgeting, managing and paying off debts, and understanding credit and investment products. There are several practical strategies to consider. 
The first one will be creating a budget. Now, having a good budget is most important for the SMEs. Investment in Takaful is important for you to look into the protection for your business. Investing in business future would also be equally important so as to ensure the forward planning for your businesses. Having a good credit report and checking your credit score is very much important, especially for the SMEs, given that that will be the reference point for the financial institutions and banks when giving out financing. Keep your documents and accounts in order. This is equally important for the SMEs to manage documents, to manage the accounts, so as to reflect a positive outcome in terms of its financials. Manage your debts and manage your cash flow. This is very important, especially for the SMEs, due to the reason that it is a lifeline for any businesses moving forward. Lastly, managing bills and expenses will be the key for the SMEs, especially looking at your costs at bay. The lack of financial literacy can lead to a number of pitfalls. Financially illiterate SMEs can be more likely to accumulate unsustainable debt burdens, for example, either through poor spending decisions or through a lack of long-term preparation. Having financial discipline is one of the important factors for the SMEs to consider. There are five aspects altogether for the SME to consider when looking at the financial discipline. First one would be to ensure strong fundamentals. Deliver a great product or service that creates a strong sales funnel, thereby giving your business the option of what accounts it accepts. Sell on favorable terms and monitor costs closely. The second aspect is don't buy turnover by using your balance sheet. Credit is the grease that makes the wheels of a business go round. However, compromising on payment terms to win deals is not a sustainable strategy. Thirdly, manage the predictability. Long-term contracts come with low margins, while high-risk success-based revenues come from healthy margins. A successful business must find the perfect balance between these trade-offs. Fourthly, measure performance constantly and objectively. Now, good business track performance against forecasts constantly. Analyze variances and make changes as needed. This creates an early warning system to track slippages and take immediate corrective actions. Lastly, and most importantly, is to watch the big costs, not the small ones. It is so common to see small costs get all the attention with the big expenses. Controlling small costs are often achieve nothing except irritating internal and external constituents. Therefore, what we can conclude is that financial discipline is the most important aspect that SMEs will need to focus on to ensure your business is going concerned. Alhamdulillah, we have come to the end of the session. If you have any further questions, you can email us at sme-assist at bankislam.com.my or alternatively, you can scan the QR code to reach us. Thank you. As I bring our event to a close, I once again thank you for your time to join us this morning and hope that this activity has given you a much clearer understanding of how this collaboration will benefit Malaysian SMEs to become future ready through the embarking of halal business and digitalization. We welcome the opportunity to talk with you in the near future and discuss on how we can assist to help you achieve your growth plans. Wishing you a good day ahead. Wabilahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Encik Rizal, for your insights. Up next is from SME Corporation, Encik Amrul Nazri Abdullah, Director of International Cooperation Division, who will walk us through his topic on Portal My Assist, Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise, MSME 
your business network. Over to you, Encik Amro. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad to be here today to meet all of you virtually to share the latest initiative by SME Corporation Malaysia, which is called My Assist MSME. This initiative is part of SME Corp Malaysia's role as the agency under the Ministry of Entrepreneur Development and Cooperative MIDAC in developing and assisting Malaysian SMEs. Before we talk about it, allow me to share the background that brings us into this initiative. For many years, SME Corp has been assisting SMEs in providing advisory, organizing events and activities in connecting SMEs with other business stakeholders to strengthen and increase SMEs' participation in business supply and value chain. However, as we all are aware due to the current COVID-19 pandemic has forced everybody to accept and to apply new norm of lifestyle, including the new norm of doing business. The introduction of social distancing, movement control order and border closure have limited the abilities for businesses to freely promoting their products and services, such as participating in business networking events, having physical business meetings or joining trade shows. Luckily, with the advancement of digital technology, we are able to overcome some of those challenges. My Assist MSME is an online one-stop business advisory platform to assist MSMEs in their business-related challenges. There are five main modules in My Assist MSME, which are SME Info. It is an online repository of comprehensive information about SMEs, among others, covering topics such as funding sources, trainings, and SME support. Webinar. Webinar is an online seminar series hosted by various ministries, agencies, financial institutions, GLCs, and industry experts. This informative session discuss current trends and various topics relevant to assist in empowering SMEs, especially in adapting to new business norms. Meet Me, a platform that provides opportunities to SMEs to communicate virtually with SME Corp business counselors for those who have inquiries, and concerns on business issues and getting advisory. ePamiran, e-exhibition platform, helps to transform typical physically held exhibitions into a virtual exhibition for SMEs to promote their products and services. And the last one is MatchMe, a virtual business networking and matching platform that I would like to share more today with all of you, which I believe very interesting and important to all of you in promoting market access. But before that, Please feel free to know more about My Assist MSME and to experience it by visiting www.myassist-msme.gov.my for more details and information. So, what is MatchMe? MatchMe is a virtual business networking and matching platform developed by SME Corporation Malaysia that was planned originally to facilitate business matching activities for Malaysian SMEs. But we have enhanced it with some extra features and make it accessible globally. It is a web-based digital platform meant to connect business globally. In a nutshell, it is a business-to-business -business platform that allows businesses to showcase companies' capabilities, promote and market products and services, network and organize meetings, and possibly to conclude deals. Who will be the beneficiaries of MatchMe? Businesses from all categories, such as MSMEs especially, large companies, multinational companies, government-linked companies, exporters, importers that offer or acquire products or services in any industries, either manufacturing or services sectors, including the financial institutions, are welcome to be registered in MatchMe and be benefited from it. There are three main features offered in MatchMe. Number one, showcase of products and services. Secondly, access to active database of businesses locally and globally. And the last one, a platform for one-to-one -one virtual business networking and meeting. Showcase yourselves to the world. Under the first feature, showcase of products and services, a company registered to match me will be able to introduce its company profile, showcase its products and services by providing the relevant information via reading material or audiovisual medium. There is also possibility for the company to provide link to its website or social media if there are already presence in the web. This feature, I would say, is the most important feature where the company should showcase the utmost of its capabilities to the potential clients or business partners accessing its information. All companies registered to MatchMe will be able to see other companies and have access to the information published. Companies should provide the most accurate information in the most pleasant 
and interesting manner to entice visitors to connect. Identify your potential business partner. The next feature, access to the active database of businesses. As mentioned earlier, all companies registered to match me will be able to see other companies and have access to the information published. Company will be able to source for potential business partners that could provide or acquire products and services. There are functions such as search or filter engine that are made available to each company to easily locate and identify suitable business partners or products and services needed. Once a potential business partner is identified, the next step is to approach the partner virtually. Let's get connected online. In this third feature, one-to-one -one business networking and meeting will allow company to request for a business meeting and setting up an appointment. The platform will provide an appointment scheduler for all companies in MatchMe to manage requested appointments and accepted appointments. Before accepting an appointment request, a company is able to see the profile of the requester and accept the appointment request if agreeable or reject the request if not interested or not related. If the appointment is accepted, both parties will be able to meet virtually according to the date and time set. This virtual meeting will happen via MatchMe meeting platform and both parties do not need to be registered to other virtual meeting platform. Both parties would be able to network, speak, sending word messaging, doing a presentation or sharing documents virtually. They will also be able to reset appointment as many times as needed and make every meeting counts. Those are three simple features that are available in MatchMe platform that could help businesses to get connected without hassle. So, why do you need to join MatchMe? From the features explained, this platform will be able to provide opportunities to businesses to promote and market products or services to local and international markets easily during this challenging time or after. It will give access to selections of relevant companies for future potential business partners. It allows businesses to get connected to potential business partners directly via single platform virtually. It will save time, cost and increase efficiency compared to conventional business meetings and matching. MatchMe is accessible at any time and from anywhere. Another extra feature that I could share about MatchMe that SME Corp could offer to any organization following this session out there. Through MatchMe platform, there is a possibility to create or organize dedicated business networking and matching event. For example, we have organized recently the MatchMe at SME Week business matching event where we invited selected SMEs to be matched with large companies in selected sectors. The event was participated by more than 200 SMEs and more than 20 large companies that we call as anchors, especially from food and beverage sectors, for a duration of five days, and we managed to get a potential sale of 9.6 million ringgit. This was happening during the peak time of COVID-19, and we have not broken any single SOP. So if there are any organization that wish to collaborate with SME Corp to organize matching session via MatchMe virtual platform, it is something that we could explore and SME Corp will be very happy to do so. Before I end my presentation, I would like to inform that MatchMe is a very young platform. It was just recently launched together with my Assist MSME platform on the 30th of June 2021. So we are expecting to onboard more than 50,000 businesses to the platform by end of the year. The first 2,000 early registrants will be offered free registration to get full access to all features of MatchMe. So please register now to grab this opportunity. You can directly visit www.myassist-msme.gov.my to visit My Assist portal and register to MatchMe or email your interest to be part of MatchMe to matchme at smecorp.gov.my the soonest and the administrator of MatchMe will send you the registration link to welcome you on board. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I end my presentation and thank you for following this webinar session. Thank you, Inchi Amrul, for your insightful presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, Facebook followers of Bank Islam and SME Corporation, that presentation marks the end of our event for today. On behalf of Bank Islam and SME Corporation, our sincere thanks for witnessing another important milestone for SMEs with the MOU signing this morning. Thank you for staying tuned.
to our insightful webinar presented by esteemed presenters representing both institutions. Salam Sajatra and goodbye.